it's me and I am here to share a very exciting first of four reviews on a product that we received in the mail a few weeks ago. It has been something that has really tried my kids' patiences, patiences, because they know exactly what it is because we own um, something similar to it and it's been sitting here being unable to be used because of the ridiculous weather that the Midwest, well that everybody's been getting. Today is the first sunny, warm enough day where we can finally unpackage this bad boy and take it out and we're just super excited and the kids are finally super excited. So. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to WeHoo for sending us this awesome, awesome product to review. Um, this, like I said, is going to be the first of four reviews that we are going to do. This first one is just going to be showing you the product itself. We have owned our original WeHoo iGo for the past, I want to say, almost five years. My daughter, Ava, who is nine, we bought, we got one when she was, uh, I believe, four or five, and she used it until she outgrew it, and then our son, who's now three, has used it for the last two years. It is amazing. My kids have loved it. We have loved it. We, you know, it just, it's stood the test of time. We just have used it constantly during the summer and spring and fall. I grew up in a family that cycled all the time across the, you know, states, just like that was our family vacations was going on bike rides, and that is what we hope to pass down to our kids. Enough talking. I am going to show you the Wii Who I Go 2, which is the newest installment. So here's Wyatt and here is Miss Kaya. Kaya has never Hi. experienced. Hi. Hi. Kaya's never experienced the Wii Who before. She's always ridden in a trailer. But Wyatt here has. <laughs> Wyatt has ridden in his original Wii Who I Go that he got from, you know, as a hand-me-down from his older sister, and he is probably the most excited. Yes. Are you excited? What are you excited about? Bike riding. Bike riding? What's your favorite part of riding in your Wii Who? Uh, hmm. Pedaling. Pedaling? You like pedaling? Yeah. Do you like how you can fall asleep in it? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like that you can see everything? Yeah. Do you like it when Daddy goes fast? Yeah. Are you excited to be able to ride with your sister? Yeah. Yeah? So there's John's bike, and we are going to show you guys how to unpackage it, how to install it, and how easy it is. This should be interesting because we actually received our first WeHoo, the original, already built the bike store that it was purchased at only had one left and it was the display weehoo wow. so we didn't actually have to put that together so this is going to be interesting to see how we managed to get this one together and how easy it is this connector part is totally different than the original as in better well i don't know i mean it looks like it is how is it different it has mine is that one right there and see how it's the screws that clamp onto the seat post oh. that's the original adapter and this one's just like a it slides on and it's gonna slide onto the seat post but i don't have to worry about clamping those screws down to like keep is that gonna bend or scratch your no there's um a grommet that, or a a little bushing that goes inside of here. Gotcha. So it doesn't scratch the seat post. No. She's saying, she's saying, wee who. Wee who. So there is the first seat, and as you can see, they will clamp onto the bar, and you can move them forwards and backwards and off. What tool are you using to put that together with? It's like my multi-hex. But it's an Allen wrench? Yeah. Did it come with one? No. No Allen wrench. So you'll need an Allen wrench. Which, honestly, that multi-tool is good to have if you're a cyclist anyways, in yeah, case you break cool. down. Alright buddy, let's see, let's measure it for you. We have a tandem rally coming up Labor Day weekend and I'm really excited to take this thing out because not only will John and I be on an upright tandem but then we'll be pulling these two in this tandem weehoo. And if you've never, if you've never seen 
you I don't know how to explain it. It's in Fort Wayne this year. It's called the Tandem Rally. And it's a pretty amazing just seeing it. I mean, there are so many different tandem bikes of all ages, young and old. There's even like, what do you call the ones with four seats with two adults and two kids? Quad bikes. There, it's just an, it's an amazing, it's an amazing scene to see all of these different types of bikes, you know, with all these different types of couples and families on them. So last year was a lot of fun and I'm just really looking forward to taking this WeeHoo out with the two kids. If you want to use this as a single, you can leave it like this or you can add a basket to the back. They sell those as well. I believe they are um, $79 for the basket, which is really nice because if for us, we like to go to the farmer's market during the summer, during our Saturday rides. So if we have the basket and say John's pulling this one with Wyatt in it and I'm pulling the other single that we have with Kaya in it, I can put produce or the diaper bag or whatever we buy into the little, you know, shopping cart type thing um, on the back of his WeeHoo. So that's a nice feature. Or if you don't want to use that, you can leave it open like this or you can put the second seat in as well. So I really like the fact that this is so multifunctional and so adjustable. I think that's got me the most excited about this. Um, like I said, I can fully endorse WeHoo right now just because we have had the original WeHoo for five years now and it's been amazing for us and for the kids and it is held up so well. So you have young kids and you bike ride or you're getting into cycling, I really highly suggest these. I think they're better than trailers. I know trailers do offer a little bit more protection, but the great thing about this WeHoo is that they do now sell all weather guards, which encompasses the whole top of the child around the um, seat. So that way they can get uh, protection from being rained on or the elements and things like that. So trailers are super heavy. They're super bulky. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. They catch a lot of wind. They're just not, if you want something that's more streamlined, something that's easier to pull, the WeHoo is by far a lot better. And unlike other tagalongs, this is a recumbent style, as you see. So the kid is fully strapped in and in a very comfortable seated position. They can just comfortably and safely sit in there, sleep in there, do whatever they need to do. I really think that WeHoo's are the way to go. If you're planning on having multiple kids or maybe have a little baby and then a toddler, grab the WeHoo I go to. It, like I said, then you, your family can grow into it. It's just, it's amazing. I will mention one thing. John built this and put it together blindly, so to speak. There were no directions or instructions included in this box. I don't know if that's standard or maybe we were sent a box that was meant to go to like a bike shop that already knows how to put one together. Um, I know I, that doesn't bother me too much. I know if right now I had an issue, I could email WeHoo and they would send me a printed copy or there's probably one on website. the website. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the directions are not a big deal to us, but I wanted to mention that there were not directions included in our box just so that you could see how easy it was for John to assemble without any instruction or without ever assembling one ever in his life. So John is installing the platform, foot platform, feet foot platform, rest. foot rest for the smaller child in the back. Like I said, this is stationary though, so they won't be able to pedal, but for Akaya, she's not gonna care. So John is actually using another tool with this, which wasn't, which you'll have to have on your own. This is a 10 millimeter wrench, socket wrench, I think. Is that, is that what that's called? I don't know. What do you, what do you think it's called? <laughs> isn't that what it's called? Is it a socket wrench? What would you call it, Kelly? I don't know. I'm asking you. Isn't that what it's called? A socket, socket wrench? Isn't that what it's called? Sure. What is it called? Come on. It's a ratchet. Oh, it's a ratchet. Okay, so he's using a 10 millimeter socket. Socket. On a quarter inch drive ratchet. On a whatever he just said. <laughs> so that's what you'll need to tighten the. Foot rest. foot rest. I can't think of words. Kaya was up late last night. So that is what that looks like. As John was mentioning earlier, he didn't have to deal with the seat going crooked on the bar because there is this groove here, which locks it into place being completely upright. So it, won't fall side so it won't fall side to side before you get a chance to tighten it. And then now he's going to add on the second one. There it is. So this is what our original, like I said, our original WeHoo, which is again, five years old. So it's probably changed it on the other one, but this is what that looks like. All right, so that goes in there like that. And now that's all that you put on your bike. Which is really nice because that compared to this with all the screws. This is much heavier. And it's much heavier. Because this is steel. And then that, Here, I'll take this the is aluminum it feels like, so. 
So the new one is great. Again, that new one is probably on the original Wii Who or the the Wii Who I Go, the one seated one. We're not sure, but that is from the original one that we've had for years. I want to keep mentioning that just so you guys know that might not be the hardware that's on the new ones if you decide to get a single. So that took about a half an hour altogether to assemble and attach to the bike. So we pulled out our original Wii Hoo just to kind of show you a comparison of what the single looks like to the double. Again, disclaimer, that is very old. <laughs> compared to the new ones. So I don't know if they've made changes to the single Wii Hoo since, you know, in the last five years. Um, as you can tell, the size difference is not that big of a change, except for maybe like a few feet at the end. Um, but that is what our old one looks like, the single. an extra screw. Right here. <laughs> and then this is what the new double looks like. There's what that little flag looks like, which flags are very important. Especially if you have a extended back like this because you want to make sure all cars see a low profile um, tag along or trailer. So because this one is even longer than our original one, it's even more important that we have that flag up there. So I wanted to mention that I did just really quickly look on the website to see kind of what the specs were on the Wii Hoo because Ava just expressed interest in wanting to ride one of them and she is nine years old, about 60 something pounds. And we thought she was actually too heavy to be in one, but according to the website, the weight capacity on the single is actually 80 pounds, which, and then up to age 10, which Ava is actually 60 something pounds, and obviously she's nine, so technically she could still ride in the single Wii Hoo. And then the double capacity is 100 pounds. So combined, you can have like a kid who's 50 pounds, and a kid who's 50 pounds, or a kid who's 40 pounds, or 60, you get what I mean. So technically, Ava could still ride in the single Wii Hoo, and bigger kids can ride in the Wii Hoo. If we pulled off one of the seats off the double Wii Hoo, again, a kid up to age 10 could ride by themselves in their, you know, 100 pounds or less. So that's kind of cool uh, to know that these things are actually going to last way longer than we thought for our kids. So if you have a child who's, you know, four years old and you're thinking, should I still get this? Am I going to be able to get good use out of this still? Apparently you can, up to 80 pounds, so go right ahead. It is super cold out, but you guys know me and my reviews. I like to use and show you guys us using these things. So even though it's cold out, we're going to bundle up the kids and ourselves and just take a real quick ride around the neighborhood so I can show you how the Wii Who I Go 2 functions. So John is getting Wyatt in. There's my bike. There's Miss Kaya in her little ladybug helmet. Safety first, guys. Even though they're not technically riding a bike, they are still exposed and behind a bike. They really take extra steps to make sure your kids are safe. They have fully covered all of the uh, chains so that way no pant legs or anything can get caught in them, which I really appreciate because I have had pant legs caught in my chains before and it was not good. But So they really have taken the extra care to think of all the extra things for kids. There's pockets, there's a full cage for the kids to sit in, there are straps for the kids' feet on both the pedal and the platform, there is a thing back here which you guys saw Kaya grabbing onto. There is a very nice harness um, strap so that way they can fall asleep or be safe or not fall out flag and then also the panners slash I call them saddle bags in the back. So I'm going to unhook Kaya which I will show you how this works. It's very nice you just squeeze those together squeeze this together to open up the top one and it's nice because they just flip up over her shoulders so you don't have to worry about pulling arms out. So guys, the verdict is, is that the Wii Hoo I Go 2 is amazing. John said that it functions and rides just like the Wii Hoo I Go 1. We are very excited about the Wii Hoo I Go 2. Are you guys excited? The kids loved it. Again, I highly suggest these things. I will leave a link to my blog post underneath this video and all of that information of where you can purchase it, the website and the specs and stuff will be there. But 
I'm really excited for warmer weather and taking the WeHoo I Go out to WeHoo I Go to out more, and so are the kids. Kai especially loved it. I'm super excited about that. But thank you again, WeHoo. I look forward to doing three more reviews and showing you guys us riding it throughout the summer and spring. I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.